we were line mates for, oh boy, 15 years or more. Um, you know, played like incredibly well together, uh, kind of a one-two tandem. Then I played for Danielle for several years at the University of Calgary. She was my head coach. And then I said to her, now I'm your boss. So <laughs> this is scary. This, it flip-flops. But I don't look at it like that. I, I look at it as we're teammates. And even when she was my coach, uh, you know, the, the respect was there. You're the coach, I'm the player, and that's what we're doing. And in this particular capacity, we're working side by side. And as we are with our whole staff, there's not really a hierarchy necessarily. I mean, at the end of the day, decisions have to be made and there has to be sort of one voice. And I guess that would be me. Playing together for so long, we went through like up and downs and like a lot during our careers. And like, I think we see the, the good side and the bad side, the bad side of each other. I don't think we're going to be surprised by any reaction the way she's going to react to something or, you know, or say something. I think I, I, I kind of know what to expect from Wick, and I, I don't see anything that's going to change about the relations we have right now. Uh, I think we're going to keep pushing each other. I think that's what we did all our, our time that we played together, and I think that's going to keep going in that situation as well. What I knew that I needed in this role was someone who was incredibly organized uh, off the ice with the ability to manage a lot of uh, moving targets and factors someone who understands uh, the development of players, both uh, physically, psychologically, emotionally, which is what she's done as a, as a university coach about the same demographic as the players that we work with here. Uh, and the ability to also go on the ice and step on the ice tomorrow and work with an Austin Matthews or a John Taveras and not be in an intimidating situation. I think it's what it's, it's showing is, first of all, the Leafs are an incredibly progressive organization. I'm really proud to be seeing a lot of the things they've done, in particular the last year, um, not just in hockey, but around hockey. If you really look at what MLSC is doing, I think it's quite world leading. Um, and, and then secondly, just the opportunity to be open minded and, and look at different perspectives. And hockey is a game that we're probably the, the last pro sport that's really making these changes and progressions. But you're seeing in other pro sports back basketball, NBA, that this is kind of becoming old news and it's just about going after the best qualified person for the job and, and uh, you know, that looks a little different than it did 10 years ago because people's mindsets have changed.